This is the breaking professional wrestling news. Vincent Kennedy McMahon accused of sexually preying on WWE divas and previously unreleased Ashley Mazzario statement. Enter the arena club, New Genesis Entertainment, the Don Juan Banks. Let's get straight into a sports skeeta. A previously unreleased statement from Ashley Mazzario alleges that Vincent Kennedy McMahon sexually preyed on her and other women in the WWE. Mazzario worked for WWE between 2005 and 2008. In a statement given to her lawyer several years ago, the former wrestler said she was raped in 2006 during a WWE tour of Kuwait. She also accused WWE of covering up the sexual assault, which allegedly took place at a military base. A military base. Can y'all believe that? Can y'all believe that? A military base? A unpublished section of Mazzario's full statement, which has been attained by Vice News, uh, includes allegation against Vincent Kennedy McMahon. During my time with the WWE, I observed Vincent Kennedy McMahon making out with other divas in the locker room, but he never paid attention to me, and I assumed I was not his type. This changed after my Playboy cover was released. I was fortunate enough to be allowed to fly on a company jet and stay at the same hotels as executives for a period of time so that I could get home faster to spend more time with my daughter. On one of these occasions, Vince was attempting to get me along with him in his hotel room late at night, and I felt extraordinarily uncomfortable. He began calling the hotel room phone and my cell phone non-stop. The release of the statement. Former WWE employee Janelle Grant and Janelle Grant is the woman that has brought down Vincent Kennedy McMahon and everything associated with him until he quit and got fired. Janelle Grant accused Vincent McMahon of sexual assault and sex trafficking. Can you believe that? McMahon dismissed Grant's lawsuit as replete with lies before resigning from WW before resigning from WWE parent company TKO, which The Rock is now part of and controls WWE Creative. Can you believe that? And you think he ain't gonna be in the main event of WrestleMania 40? You got another thing coming. Ashley Mazzario claimed Vince McMahon tried to ruin her career. The statement goes on to allege that Vince McMahon purposely tried to make Ashley Mazzario look bad after she rejected his advances. Mazzario added that she spoke to WWE former head of production, Kevin Dunn, about Vincent McMahon's lascivious behavior. 
She also raised concerns to current creative team member Michael P.J. Hayes about the former WWE executive chairman writing promos for her. I called Kevin Dunn to explain the situation, and he said I should tell Vincent Kennedy McMahon I was not feeling well and would see him on TV the next day, so I did. Immediately after that night, Vince started writing my promos for me. Vince does not write promos for female wrestlers. That is a job of the creative department, and he certainly would have under any, and he certainly wouldn't have under any normal circumstances written a promo for me, but he did, and the promos were written with clear intention of ruining my career. So Vince McMahon can give you a promo to ruin your career. I brought the first script Vince wrote for me to the WWE employee in charge of creative at the time, Michael Hayes. And he said, you're not saying this. Who the expletive wrote this? And I told him that Vince did. He said, well, kid, these are the breaks meaning that Vince wanted to end my career and destroy my reputation on my way out. He is known for this type of behavior and also did this redacted upon her WWE departure. In addition, after that night, each time I walked by him, he would make vulgar sexual comments that were clearly designed to make me uncomfortable. In 2019, guess what? Mazzario passed away at the age of 39 because of Vince McMahon. Wow. She gave the statement to her lawyers before her death as part of the concussion-related lawsuit against the WWA. However, members of her legal team decided to leave the allegations against Vince McMahon out of the lawsuit as the claims were not relevant to concussions. Current AEW star... Let me tell you something. X out the current AEW star. That was another uh, article. Vincent Kennedy McMahon is going to go to jail, ladies and gentlemen. I got to tell you that. Do you think I want to come on here and tell you that Vince McMahon is going to go to jail? He's going to get hit civilly. And criminally, want to give a shout out to Walt Weezy for that information. Um, this is getting worse and worse day by day, and it's affecting WrestleMania 40 because because of that Triple H may be fired from the WWE for real, and he he is not making the right decisions because Carlito Caribbean Cool was not eliminated from the Royal Rumble. So Cody Rhodes essentially never won the Royal Rumble. But Cody Rhodes challenged Roman Reigns and they put that match out there. The Rock didn't want it done that way. The Rock already is in control of WWE, creative bringing in Brian Gertzwitz, um, being part of the TKO board. And he 100% is going against Roman Reigns. But this whole Cody Rhodes fanboy, milk dud, Japanese fake anime, grade A, pure 100% D, horse manure, smart mark fanboys, the movement. Remember the Yes movement? Look at Daniel Bryanson. He's in AEW. He can't even get in the main event. Cody wasn't even able to win the AEW title. And that's why I challenge the entire Cody Rhodes movement. I'm going to tell you like it is. That's how Andrew Arena does it. It's like it is. It's Club New Genesis Entertainment. It's the Don Juan Banks. It's Vince McMahon getting hit civilly and criminally. It's Brock Lesnar, Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, and whoever else associated with this being erased like Chris Benoit from the WWE. I'm going to tell you one thing. If you don't subscribe, we got a chat room. 
on Facebook, you can join. All you got to do is leave a comment. Subscribe to Into the Arena and Club New Genesis Entertainment. Into the Arena with over 40,200. Club New Genesis at 35 subscribers. So what? It'll get up there. It take time. I was gone for nine years, and it only took me nine days to generate over 1,000 views. I've been with the best. I beat the absolute best. We got videos to prove it. Into the Arena is the number one source for real professional wrestling news, live and in living. R K Ultra A K Ultra Clear as day. I come back on here not for my health, but to give the professional wrestling fans the realest videos in the history of YouTube and social media. Contracting Mr. Pay-Per-View, the multi $100 million man, the superior of greatness, simply the best, Don Juan Banks.